Hello and welcome to this follow-up tutorial on the Terrain Texture Painter system. Now in the first tutorial you learned how to use the 16 textures to paint the terrain and doing it in a certain order so you get the transitional effect. But there was a little limitation there in that you couldn't cut a swathe like a path through that without creating these banding artifacts. Well we've added something in the follow-up, what we would call the patch update to the main match update which solves that problem for you and I'm going to demonstrate a few tricks that you can now do with that effect. So I'm just going to flatten a little area here just so we've got some nice area to work on. This is the uh, the default level that was introduced in the match update. If we click on the grass painter you'll see that it's lots of grass so if we just hold down shift and left, I'll just increase my uh, cursor size with the plus key hold down shift and then left mouse button will allow me to clear all the grass out of the way very quickly. Now typically, I'll just get the brush size a bit smaller again with the minus key. So we click on this one which will actually go back to the regular texture. Now I could paint some mud like so and I could paint some rock and the rock gets painted obviously it transitions between this sediment on through to the rock but you notice this banding effect when you actually go from rock all the way back to grass. Essentially on the, uh, the bottom right here, the texture has to trans, um, transition all the way back through these textures to get back to grass. Now normally you would actually do your things in sequence. So let's say you, want, you wanted say grass, like so. Then your next texture along would be here, so then it transitions nicely. And then within that you would transition to the next one, so you, you keep them like that. But normally if you go straight to the end, you get this banding effect. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could actually have a path that runs all the way through that and not have the banding effect? Well, there's a new feature that we've added. It's locked to slot one, which was the, uh, the traditional location for the path texture, or the path paint. So now what happens is you can paint that and it goes straight through all of the textures of the terrain. It is essentially it draws a secondary layer on top of all the textures that you've currently got going on in your terrain and then it renders it over the top. Um, and this is useful for two things. One, let's say uh, you had a something like this where you've got the, the water and then you've got some sort of sand and then going up to a hill and all the rest of it. Um, if you wanted a path that starts up here in one texture and then runs all the way down and through all the other ones, it's a nice path with no banding on either side. That's one use for it. But there's another one which is a little bit more cleverer and will allow you to sort of solve a lot of the problems that you might have had of being forced just to you know live with this sort of banding artifact that if you've sort of run out of plan, then you're going to have to sort of deal with it in many, many ways. So I'll just delete all that and then we'll go back to the rock issue. You see the banding effect that you've got there. Well here's another way to solve it. Go to slot one, right click, change that graphic to the grass. So remember this is the grass one here, this is slot five. So you actually use exactly the same texture. So if I uh, now left click, notice there's no difference because it's the same texture. So I bet some of you can guess what I'm going to do now. I'm going to paint, and remember this is a different texture, but it's an overlay, it's a secondary layer. And what I can essentially do is just hide any banding. I can just paint it out, like so. It's still there, it's just underneath the secondary layer, which takes priority in the render. So now you can actually have your rock texture from slot 16 right up against what looks like a nice transition into the grass. So that's the second use for this technique. The great news is it doesn't hit on performance because if this uh, this is actually on a different layer, i.e. a different channel within the paint map, if that's not actually being used it doesn't do the extra texture sample so it doesn't slow down the rendering and so the shader can run at its normal speed. And another good thing about this patch, we've actually improved the performance of the shader as well, so it runs a lot faster than it did from the official uh, March update. So that is a quick introduction to the new change. I hope you'll find it of use 
I think it will solve a lot of the problems, but it doesn't sacrifice performance, and it's completely backwards compatible with all the levels that you've got so far. So I hope you find use for it. Until next time, I'll say goodbye.